That's right, we should get together and kill Whitey. We should do kill something about it. Kill him. We should get something, get together and blow him up. They ain't people, they animals. They're not human, they're animals. They're beasts. Kill him about 50 of them out of the field. I don't think I Come here, Bobby. Kill all the beasts. Come here, Bobby. Come here. Come here. Hold it, hold it, man. All right, you can film this one. They fighting about um, King Death. <laughs> you film that right there. You gotta be cool, man. You don't think nothing about it. I don't think nothing. He's a black man. We're trying to make the Board of Education, you know, on our side, have some respect for the deaf. That's right. They don't have why we out here. We ain't got no respect for him. We ain't got no respect for him, so we don't go to school. That's right. Right, brother? And all who don't got their lights on our hair, they got them fucked up. Well, that's respect. That's good enough. They still gotta give us that hat back with respect. What do you think about what do you think about the murder of Martin Luther King? Yeah, I think that's no good. <laughs> yeah. Well what I think about it is uh, I think I feel like the rest of the color people around here that something should be dead about it. I mean uh, right now they still haven't found the uh, the murder yet. And I think that we should be able to uh, you know, start something right here in order to find out what's what. We don't even know nothing. What do you yeah. think you ought to start? Well, I think we ought to start for our freedom. Uh-huh. That's what I'm for. I'm for freedom. How do you do that? How do you get that? How do you do that? The only thing I know is kill like they kill. That's my, that's my, that's my problem. Kill like they kill. All right, let's take two. Yay! Take ten for every one they kill. Down with school. Right here. We're going to put the waves in these things. One thing, you know, this is, this is, this is Negro himself. You know, this is all Negro, actually. This is not so, man, because all people, they have just as many intelligence as they have finger poppers. This is not necessarily, man, the... Uh, the uh, expression of the ghetto, this thing popping and jack, this ain't right and all that jazz, you know what I mean? Everybody, if this is a thing, this is a mood, actually, that's all, man. It's not necessarily a way of expressing yourself correctly. Because if you don't like something, you have to get it across to the people. They're not supposed to go along with whichever way they want to reject you and your stereotype, you know? You know, because they say the black guy is like a boy and he's a this and that and the other, but he's not really, you know? This ain't it. This ain't where it's at, man. I don't feel this way, right, you know? And it's all a plot. The whole thing is a plot, man. As long as they can protect us like this to the, to the rest of the world, they'll say, well, we don't need anything. We don't want anything anyhow. We're satisfied popping our fingers and some jazz as far as we're concerned. We need an instant jack to uh, get all the silence. And they would say now the Negro is inferior by nature because of Noah's curse. And so one brother, during the days of slavery, wanted to justify slavery. And uh, he had set his argument up on the framework of Aristotle's thinking. He could say now, all men are made in the image of God. And then came his minor premise, God, as everybody knows, is not a Negro. Therefore, the Negro is not a man. They argue now on more cultural and subtle sociological grounds. Uh, the Negro is not culturally ready for integration. And uh, if you integrate uh, schools and if you integrate too much, uh, the Negro will pull the white race back a generation. And then they go on to say, you know, that the Negro is inherently criminal and uh, all of these things. Now, these people never say to us that many of these problems are problems of urban dislocation and that poverty, ignorance, and disease, breed crime, whatever the racial group may be, that these conditions are environmental and not racial. And it is a torturous logic to use the tragic results of segregation and dis discrimination as an argument for the continuation of it. But I submit to you this evening that this way of nonviolence will help us not to seek to rise from a position of disadvantage to one of advantage, thus subverting justice. We will not substitute one tyranny for another. 
for black supremacy is as dangerous as white supremacy. The time to do right is now, and that the time is always ripe to do right.